Oh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. That was wonderful. <laughs> Well, the trick to the bomb garbage disposal deal, the two that you have to do, is most people don't realize that you can light bombs with bombs that you have in your hands. So what that does is it allows you to have a bomb that's like already on a timer before you have it in your hands. So that means, whoa. That, say it's the last bomb, for example, you don't have to pick it up you know, way back at 10 seconds, because it takes 10 seconds for him to explode. You could have lit it at 10 seconds or 11 seconds or whatever, throw the bomb that you already had in your hands in a good place, go back, pick that one up, and then throw that one in a good spot as well. This guy shows up where I think he will. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> For some reason, no one does Super Mario Galaxy speedrun, so... I'm like... Okay, like me and then Yoshi fan. Who's doing the, uh... Segmented 61 star with Luigi run. Super Mario Galaxy 2? Like, I don't know. I don't even know if I'd want to ever try to speedrun that game after speedrunning this game. It's just too much work. Oh, where am I going? Shoot. Um... Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I don't think there's a finished Super Mario Galaxy 2 run either. Um, about Luigi. Um... Okay, it depends on what category you're talking about. If you're talking about 61 stars, then... Um, there's like an automatic 5 minute difference because Luigi doesn't have to watch the intro cutscene. So it, that's that right there. And then his higher jumps, I... There's like one or two skips that technically Mario can do, but it's, like, barely possible, but with Luigi, they're, obviously they're still hard, but they're, like, a lot more doable. 
One of which saves like a minute and a half. And another one saves like 15 seconds twice. So there's that. And then... But the other... So that's for 61 star. But for 120 star, or 100%, because that's technically what this is, 100% category, um, Luigi actually has to get the 121st star. Which means that he has to watch the credits twice, which is included in the timing. So that would actually be longer for Luigi 100%. For Mario, you only have to watch the credits once. Or, the credits are only counted in time once. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa. Oh, and the reason you have to watch the credits multiple times, if I didn't explain that, which I did, is because um, there's 15 stars in this game. They're the purple co coin comets that only appear after you've beaten Bowser, like the final Bowser, the first time. So you have to do that before you can actually 100% or get 120 stars. You have to beat the final Bowser. Unlike Mario 64, where that can be the last thing you do. Um, and what happens is you have to watch through all the credits and the ending cutscenes and everything the first time, and it's included in the timing. So if you look at the splits, you'll see uh, Bowser 1, and then after that, Terrace slash Fountain 2, and there's like a humongous time gap that's partly due to the um, ending cutscenes. Okay, so... I guess, yeah. Perfect run is a beast. Wow, this is interesting. Wow, I can't get him. Okay, no, he's gonna land at me. Jeez, this is bad. Just as long as I don't tie. Come on. Yeah, that was a terrible Top Maniac fight. Uh. Uh, I don't like this star. I don't have a good strategy for, like, the first half. Which means that I'm basically winging it. Yeah, the garden. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you notice, again on the splits, I have the garden. This is part of my route. I have the garden basically as soon as possible without like slowing down. 
like things significantly. There's a certain point where you can do observatories in basically whatever order you want. And so I just do all the hard stuff first because... Oh no, you're kidding, I'm dead. Okay. No! <laughs> Why? I can't believe this. Okay. It's always something like this. There is a level that just goes weird and then yeah, waste some time. Uh, you oh, no, okay, good enough. I haven't pulled that off in a while. Fire! That was intentional for once. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the boss of Gusty Garden. Yeah, the Daredevil. Oh, yeah, the Daredevil for him is uh, kind of annoying. No, but the, the garden garden, like the top observatory, um, has like a gajillion hard stars, because it's obviously like the last place. And there's a daredevil run, which is on the Melty Molten Galaxy, and it's not just a boss, it's an entire level, with lots of lava and lots of fire. So... <laughs> not quite as bad as the perfect run, but... It's the closest this game has. Oh, you're... What the heck is going on? I'm gonna get hit. Whatever, I don't care. Just get up. <laughs> I can't get in between his legs. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going for a coin. I can't bear, like... Oh my... Perfect.